Hello, today we will talk about the Diphotarian solution. The Diphotarian solution is an emergency rinsing solution recommended by various countries and international scientific communities. We present both its spectrum of activity and its mechanism of action. Diphotarian solution is an amphoteric and chelating solution. It is versatile and acts on all irritant and corrosive chemicals. These can be classified into six families – acids and bases, oxidants and reducing agents, chelators and solvents. The advantage of this solution is that it supports a single protocol for all the chemicals on your site. However, it is less effective for fluorides in acid mediums, such as hydrofluoric acid. In the event of an accident with this product, choose the hexafluorine solution. It is specific to this type of chemical and acts on both corrosive acid ions and toxic fluoride ions. The mechanism of action of diphotarian solution is very simple. Let's do a little anatomy to explain its mechanism and then we will simulate an ocular projection. The cornea is composed of three layers, the epithelium, the corneal stroma and the endothelium. When a chemical is splashed into the eye, only a small volume will come into contact with the surface of the cornea, that is to say 0.2 milliliters or about three drops. This small volume is sufficient to cause a burn. In case of eye contact with a corrosive product, the penetration of the chemical starts after only 10 seconds. At first, the epithelium is resistant. After 10 seconds, the chemical penetrates the epithelium. At this stage, the chemical is in contact with the sensory nerves and the victim usually experiences severe pain. However, there is still no irreversible damage. The endothelium is not affected. After 30 seconds, the chemical penetrates the corneal stroma. Its structure, made up of collagen fibers, is affected. The victim will have visual disturbances, such as blurred or whiteout vision. It is quite possible that the victim will panic and feel severe pain. But fortunately, the damage is still not irreversible. The endothelium is still intact. After 60 seconds, the lesion can turn irreversible when the chemical comes in contact with the endothelium. By definition, if the endothelium is destroyed, it is permanent. The lesion is therefore established and there will be a need for medical intervention in addition to decontamination. The objective of decontamination is therefore to prevent the chemical from penetrating into the cornea and reaching the endothelium. If you use water to rinse a chemical projection, it operates on the surface. Rinsing with water is a passive rinsing. It carries the product and dilutes it on the surface, so on the cornea. Water is hypotonic, so it cannot limit the penetration of the chemical into the tissues of the eye. This hypotonicity of water can be harmful in the context of a chemical burn. It carries the chemical further into the eye and thus brings it dangerously close to the endothelium. If you are using water to rinse an ocular chemical burn, the standard is to rinse within 10 seconds of the splash. As we have seen, this is the maximum time during which the epithelium will resist. It is essential to rinse mechanically for at least 15 minutes with a flow rate of 6 litres of water per minute. If you act beyond 10 seconds, the chemical has already potentially created a lesion. It has penetrated the cornea. On the other hand, if you apply the diphotarian solution, you can remove the chemical on the surface by rinsing, as it is a liquid solution, like water. But the diphotarian solution goes further. It limits the spread of the chemical in the tissues as it is hypertonic. In fact, it is more saline than the eye and the skin. If you apply the diphotarian solution, it stops and removes the chemical. This quickly stops the pain. Continue rinsing, even if you no longer feel any pain. If you intervene within the first 10 seconds of the accident, the 50 milliliters of SU is enough to decontaminate the eye. If the chemical has already penetrated deep into the eye, it must be drawn out to stop the destructive action. To achieve this effect within the first minute, 500 milliliters should be used. 
higher volumes of the solution will be needed if you exceed this time limit. Thus, diphotarin permits to drag the chemical to the outside to prevent it from reaching the endothelium. When decontamination cannot be carried out on time and the endothelium is reached, emergency services and hospitals can rely on the properties of the diphotarin solution to limit the severity of the lesion. The spectrum of activity of the diphotarin solution and its mechanism guarantee effective rinsing against all types of chemical spills, whatever their nature. There is one exception, hydrofluoric acid or fluorides in an acid medium. For such projections, the hexafluoride solution is the best option. Thank you for your attention. We remain at your entire disposal for any information concerning your safety around chemicals.